The Chinese presence in the WPS continues despite the ongoing Balikatan exercises. The Balikatan is a bilateral exercise aimed at enhancing the capabilities of the Philippine and U.S. military forces to collaborate during planning, contingencies, humanitarian assistance and disaster relief operations. It has been proven to be very important in these times. The United States and France will continue to work together despite the emergence of Chinese forces near the training area. About 16,000 troops, two-thirds of which are Americans, are participating in the exercises from April 22nd to May 8. When asked about the possibility of seeing Chinese naval drills, Balikatan 2024 Executive Officer Colonel Michael Lojako said that it's possible? Well, we are within our EEZ and I believe that we have more rights to be there and the exercises have been added to the military. The sea will continue even with Chinese ships. The highlight of the event was the naval exercise off the coast of Lawag in Ilocos Norte, facing Taiwan Strait. You know, the Balikatan exercise is a show of our readiness. In combat, its whole purpose is to deter any external attack. If we can't stop, we will defend ourselves. And when we defend, the goal is to win he added. He added that at least four AFP ships and one from the French Navy will join the group sailing. The total number of participating U.S. Navy ships has not yet been determined according to other experts. This exercise is raising tensions and increasing alertness in China. But politicians who know nothing but politics are pressuring Vice President Serra Duterte to make a statement. But for those who support it, it's clear where VP is on his side. It's based on his own words, but it's common sense to use what Indy means. Still, the well-known foreign and public relations expert, Sas Sasut, has commented on the matter. He said in his post that Cariella is challenging Indy Sarah to speak against China. Yep, I agree, because that will add to the solution. It's terrible how the United States is trying to provoke China into a war. Imagine having military exercises in one of China's islands, Kinmen, which is under the control of the Kamint. After they lost the civil war to the Communist Party of China, Kinmen is three miles from mainland China. How many officials and personalities are trying to convince VP Serra to join the mess the Marcos administration is making against China? Why is it that the president is not going to let his three sons go to the front if there is a war? I'm just saying that the writers of the book, Adrian Pasquale, believe that the Philippines is the only country in the world. To the WPS or SCS, if he enlisted Sandro and his two other brothers in the Army Navy, they will be autopas, even if they can't afford the training. Then I assign Sila Sabatanis. New U.S. funded port, Cagayan, Edka listed base, and say BRP Sierra Madre, front line. They choose where they want to go or if they want to go or they will draw lats. Didn't BBM train himself back then? Nakafatig PA Ed Saonea. Let's see if his rhetorics will still be consistent and will he still be pro S narratives. It's not because the children and wives of others are on the front line, so the courage, the average person who has been in the same position as the other person is either monthly or every other month. Is it the rest of the missions right? Why do we have to be so quick to build a new store that is often used to create conflicts and conflicts?